Hi, my name is Kyle and welcome to Real Tubers. I want you to be doubling over in laughter by the end of this video, so let's talk about depression. In the movie Boyhood, there's this very frightening moment where our main character is sitting in silence just watching his stepdad crater into an alcoholic meltdown. If anyone has been in one of those situations, you know just how terrifying that simmering rage is. There is, however, a very telling moment that the stepdad has right before his anger explodes. He turns to our protagonist and, I'm paraphrasing here, says, you don't like me very much, do you? That's okay. I don't like myself very much either. When you hate yourself, you are depriving yourself of a quality of life. You then have the choice of either wallowing in that or escaping from it. And hopefully you do the latter. I had the unfortunate nickname of Eeyore when I was a kid, mostly because I looked like a stuffed donkey, but also because I would often sigh and go, okay, I guess. I also tacked a tail onto my pants. I. I was weird and that was a thing. Everyone has those Eeyore moments, I think. Moving on to my second point, a friend of mine came over the other day and we decided to watch a movie, Groundhog Day, him for the first time, which I know, let that sink in. He is an embarrassment to himself and his family. It's easy to misconstrue Groundhog Day as this fluffy 90s comedy. I think it's much more than that. There is this moment where Phil, played by Bill Murray, arrives at his lowest point. He has relived this same day hundreds, if not thousands of times, and he's decided to kill himself. The audience, I believe, is meant to laugh at the ludicrous ways that Phil is trying to off himself. With any great satire, there's this element of truth that underlies the comedy. We may laugh, but we also empathize with the man who believes he is in hell. The thing is, Phil is an asshole. The people around him don't like him very much. He doesn't seem to like himself all that much either. Yeah, there's that charm that comes from him being played by Bill Murray, but just like the stepdad from Boyhood, there is a sadness and a darkness there. Let's take a short time out for a joke. I was reading an article here a couple months ago about the places where STDs were transmitted the most, which by the way, this has nothing to do with depression. Let's just imagine this being like a Family Guy-esque non sequitur. So you would think the places where STDs are transmitted the most are places like universities or Kentucky tours, but the place where they actually are, retirement homes. That is something that I don't want to think about nor believe, but the more I thought about it, the more sense it made. Where else would dust come from? Insert your own rim shot here. These two characters attack their self-loathing in two very different ways. The stepdad tries to find himself at the bottom of a bottle, whereas Phil, after just letting go of his insecurities and concerning himself about himself, he's able to open himself up and become a better person by helping other people. That's not to say that those suffering from depression can simply just get out of it by helping other people. Sometimes you need to seek help. However, wallowing in self-pity is never a good thing. When you hate yourself and truly believe that you are a bad person, you're not just hurting yourself, but those around you. Getting better means an improved life not just for you, but for friends, family, acquaintances, that barista who only needs to remember two pumps of vanilla. Two pumps, how many times do I have to say it? Seek the help you need. Believe that you are worth it. Don't be a stepdad, be a Phil. Uh, but, but a Phil at the, uh, at the end of the movie, not, is my metaphor becoming muddled? I think it is. My point is that Bill Murray is amazing and I have no idea what accent Annie McDowell is trying to do. But what do you think? If someone hates themselves, what should they do? What do you do? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyle. You can watch my videos every Thursday over on my channel. Real Tubers will have another very pretty face here next Wednesday. I love you, but as a friend, I don't want to move too fast.